bit murky and grey out there but it hasn't rained and it's very warm and tomorrow is another day when the sun will no doubt shine anyway this week's video is sponsored by sandra chicken boy's sister who has very kindly taken my stuff to nomad international so that they can bring it out to me here in greece so the black pearl will ride again Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. It's Friday. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, you 590 something people I've got now, which is fantastic news. And if you've just joined me, hit like, share, and subscribe. Sit back and enjoy the ride. You never know what you're going to get on this channel. It's like a box of chocolates. <laughs> but it's mostly grease at the moment. So, uh, the ones who watch me regularly will be saying, what's that behind you, Rudgy? Oh, yeah, that. Well, <laughs> that's a hire car. <laughs> you see the uh, bucket. Uh, my sister from another mister is coming out to visit for my birthday. Uh, she's coming out for 10 days. And she hits town tomorrow. So, to get her about, I needed a car. Um, also, the Black Pearl, uh, the radiator is leaking so badly now, I don't really want to take it very far. Um, so, I decided we'd hire a car for a little bit longer than I need, needed it for the bucket's visit. Um, because um, Dan from Nomad tells me my stuff should be here on the 28th. So, I've got this till the 26th. I'll get some shopping and I'll just be confined to quarters till my bits come. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. I went and got uh, beer grills to help me because um, I had, a, as a lot of you know, I have a few problems with my mental health. I haven't been feeling very well uh, last week. I don't know why. It's like the weather. It's starting to go again now. Uh, but when that happens, I uh, get a bit muddled and it's, I could have done it, but uh, it's much better if somebody helps me do it. So beer grills got the car for me. So th thanks for that, Janice and Terry, for helping me out with that. Um, so we're uh, on the road to the castle. Um, I do a lot of my links from here. Um, over in the distance there, you can see Lordas. Round the corner would be Catelios. And further on uh, would be uh, Scala and Poros. And just in the distance there, I don't think you'll see it today, uh, but is the mainland. Zakynthos over there. Argostoli down there. But those of you who watch the channel a lot will know all that. So what have we got this week, you say? Well, um... I think I might take you to uh, Aia Ephemia, uh, or Agia Ephemia as it's, as it's spelt uh, for English people, and see what's going on over there. Uh, I haven't been able to go over there since I hit town because the bike hasn't been very well, and I like to go and have a coffee over there. It's lunchtime. Um, I think I deserve some lunch. I didn't have any breakfast, so let's go and have a look and see what that's like over there, shall we? Well, this will do, won't it? Yeah. Very nice. I'm sure the bucket's going to love that. <laughs> so this is going to be the chariot for the next uh, few days. Uh, yeah. Oh. Hmm. It's uh, a bit odd being in the car again. <laughs> anyway, off we go. So this is where last week's video ended. And it's where this one is beginning. <laughs> yeah, it's um, a bit odd driving the car again. Um, would have been useful early on, wouldn't it, with the weather being bad? But, uh, oh well, it's took the pressure off because I was a bit worried about uh, the Black Pearl overheating. It's not losing a tremendous amount of water, but it's making a mess of the engine cases. Uh, because uh, somebody must have put tap water in it at some point. There's a lot of lime out here, and of course, uh, it's getting lime scale basically when it dries out all over the cases, which doesn't seem to want to come off. It's a bit reluctant. So, uh, over there in the distance, you might just be able to make out uh, his Agostoli. Um, this will bring us out eventually at the Rebola factory. So here we go. Now, one of the viewers uh, suggested that I uh, stopped and had a coffee uh, in the village up here. 
There is a place that I know of that, that, that they, I think it's the one they were mentioning, that does um, homemade lemonade. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to be open today. And in any case, um, it's lunchtime, so I could do with getting on to uh, EF Amir if I'm going to get there. Um, but let's have a look and see if it is open. Yeah, looks like it is. I think that's the one there. Oh, that, it might be that pink one that we're on about. I dare say that, say, I think it was Sue and Graham Partridge. But uh, anyway, look at the views. How lovely that is down there. If you're wondering um, how I do this, uh, <laughs> selfie stick and some gaffer tape <laughs> depending on where the uh, handbrake ends up is where the uh, the camera will be is that's why it's wobbling around a little bit um, yeah because I like to have both my hands free although I am uh, using my right hand to turn the camera like that so yeah that's how I do it if you were wondering <laughs> of course the uh, bucket will be able to sling the camera won't you sir As you can see, the roads are pretty good, really. Um, for these little hire cars are particularly nice to drive along, to be honest. In fact, most of the roads here, we were discussing this this morning, are probably better than uh, the ones in the UK. Makes you wonder where your road tax goes in the UK, doesn't it? All the grapevines are uh, starting to grow back again after their winter slumber. go we're dropping down to where the Rebola factory is now I know quite a few of you who watch the site on a regular basis have been here hundreds of times um, but I bet it's still nice to see it Right in the uh, in the valley there, where Enyos is uh, just in front of us. That's the Rebola factory drive way down there. And this is where I filmed the market. If you flick back through my videos, you'll see there's a market held there. They have a religious ceremony every year and uh, there's a market that's usually held there looks like the tavernas aren't open yet it's just occurred to me that if you like to be uh, out the way of uh, of things this is probably quite a nice place to holiday Um, it looks like they've got quite a lot of holiday lets around here. There's a mini market, there's uh, three or four tavernas. Regatta, that's where we are, according to that sign there. So, yeah, you might want to Google that and see if there's any, uh, if you like remote places. <laughs> I don't know if at least one person that watches this that will uh, be ooh, we'll have a look at that. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine uh, there's some quite nice walks because we're climbing up again now to hit the main road, but that's uh, that's the valley down there. Right, so we've just turned right onto the main road. This road go, runs from uh, Agastoli really, um, the other side of the lagoon, um, and brings you out in Sami. Uh, it's the main road from the port of Sami. 
and I feel a bit like the guy on the uh, train <laughs> it passes the junction for uh, Mount Enyus, which you can see up there see all the windmills and that up there yeah nice bit of road again as you can see nice and wide surface is pretty good if you were wondering it's funny the amount of people that uh, that I've come across that don't like driving out here um, and it has been suggested before that I uh, I do a show for service <laughs> uh, but it would be quite expensive to set that up there you know I'd have to get a, a fairly new car to pass it all its tests that would be expensive uh, and then I'm involved in the Greek tax system aren't I so that's not to say that you know if people I know need to be shown around, I could probably come to some arrangement with them. But, uh, they'd have to get a car for me to drive. And then I wouldn't mind uh, taking her around and I could film what we were doing. So, I suppose that's an option. Some horses there, look. There you go, there's the sign for... Uh, Enius. and if you're wondering why it says Poros it's because if you go straight on um, further up that road there'll be a fork to the right which takes you to the top of the mountain if you were to go straight on it brings you out on the road between Sami and Poros so that's another little link road which we'll do another day um, you sometimes see the wild horses down there as well but generally they're uh, further up the mountain Like I said, it's a little bit overcast today, but uh, it's very warm. So summer has started, which I'm very much relieved about. I, I don't like the winter. I don't like the grey. I don't like the rain. Um, yeah. Now, I have said this before in a previous video. I think it was about the mountain. Um, I have a friend who uh, hires cars out, and I hear a lot of stories about things that... Uh, people who hire the cars have done um, now he's a family run business so you know they haven't got huge pots of money like the bigger corporate things this is quite a steep hill um, I've got the car in third gear and I'm only going very slowly and the reason for that is that I'm not having to use the brakes very much um, so one they won't overheat and cause me a problem and two I'm not wearing them out quicker than they should wear out and as Kefalonia is quite a hilly um, well mountainous island um, that's a, a useful thing to think about use a lower gear and just take your time and let the engine do the work going down the hills rather than your brakes there's a goat for the bucket she'll like that that's uh, Sammy down there. But well, I bet most of you already know that, don't you? <laughs> oh, there you go. Let's um, unclick this from its uh, thing. It will love that. Right, let's get this clip back on its. Uh... There you go. stock out on the on display by tiling the entire front of the building <laughs> uh, 
and also on the same road is the uh, museum now I have been in there and I did find that quite interesting if you're into boats and stuff like that when that's open I'll uh, I'll take you around that do a video of that um, very interesting place there's where you can get your honey from I've uh, used that place a few times over the years the girl was telling me that that's uh, a family run business that uh, one member of the family keeps the bees another member uh, puts the product in its various forms which is some are tins for the planes and some are jars um, and she sells it <laughs> I like the family run businesses right well here we are we're um, almost in Sami now I think rather than just go straight to Aia Iafamia we'll uh, Sorry about the camera moving around there, trying to get it back in its thing. We'll have a quick look round uh, the Port of Sami, see who's open. We're at May the 8th now, so things are starting to open up because we've got quite a few tourists on the island, um, but we're still not quite in season, I would say. Yeah, something to consider if you're going to live out of town is that uh, this place will be like Augustoli. Most places will be open. A lot of the tavernas close, but supermarkets, stuff like that, all your important things are open. But now we're uh, coming into the season because this is a port, the tavernas have. Uh, took advantage of that and most of them are open. That's where the uh, ferry from the mainland comes in. So yeah, uh, I was discussing this with my neighbour. If you're going to live here, it's important to remember I have a lot of friends and I myself uh, have the same view. We like occasionally to have some back bacon and some English sausage. Now you can get that no problem from the wholesalers and a couple of the meat markets um, during the summer months. But in the winter of course a lot of the tavernas buy that stuff um, to feed you a lot your English breakfast and the tavernas aren't going to use it so in the winter the supply of that dries up something to consider if you're uh, gonna move to somewhere remote and use a local supermarket you might find a lot of the things you like to buy won't be there in the winter because they're catering to the masses not just one or two people anyway we've now come out on the road that runs between uh, Aia, Aia Famia and uh, Sami if we turn left here, it'll take us back to the T-junction and you turn left, you go back into Sami, do a big circle that we've just done. If you turn right, you go back up the mountain. We're going to turn uh, right at this junction and it will take us to Aia Iafamia. Now this bit of road I absolutely love. Um, it's one of my favourites uh, on the island. Um, it can be a bit slippy on the bike, so you have to be a bit careful in some of the corners. Um, the road surface is uh, is pretty good for a car, um, but for a bike it can be a bit slippy. So if you come down here on a bike or a quad, just be a bit careful because uh, you know it's a bit like driving in a, a bad shower. <laughs> but the views are pretty good. And there's, uh, you see these little bits on the side of the road where you could possibly park, where well, you could park there. 
and nine times out of ten there's a little beach and nine times out of ten nobody's on it <laughs> It's a shame it's uh, a bit overcast today because uh, it doesn't um, show the colours of the sea up very well but uh, it is a beautiful part of the road this. I did a video about this tavern, these two tavernas uh, last year so if you scroll down you'll find that but we'll do another one this year of it I'm sure I'll probably bring the bucket out of here. Um, try the other taverna because I tried the one on the left hand side as you go in the car park so we'll try the right hand one this year I think change is as good as a rest that's what they say there you go just round the corner there to the left of that road will be a EFMEA uh, And there you go, that's where we're headed over there. I apologise about the weather, I can't do nothing about the sun. But you can imagine what it's like. Well, there will be other videos of me coming along this road, I'm sure. It is, however, very warm. Which is nice. <laughs> While I was editing this for a little clip, I've just realised it looks like the car's doing 300 mile an hour. <laughs> I can assure you it's not. I have had this issue before and I had to film the speedo on my friend's uh, Jiminy to prove that I was only doing the speed limit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, going through uh, Sammy, I was probably, well, doing less than 20 mile an hour, but it looks like I'm doing about 60, doesn't it? Anyway, let's get on with the video. So there you go, we're in the uh, port of Aia Iafamia. Um, that's the road we've come along from Sammy. You can see Sammy in the background there. And like I say, usually this is wall to wall yachts. Um, there are a few in, but it's not, the season hasn't really started yet. But as you can see, all the tavernas are open. And the smell of food's making me hungry. I didn't have any breakfast, so uh, maybe I ought to get something to eat and have a snack tonight, a tea. So I'll get on with having a look at that and we'll be back in a minute. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's good. How are you? Yeah, there, there. I'll switch this off. <laughs> that was nice. I just seen the, the guy who was running the harbour here when we had the Medicaid and helped me find uh, there was a German guy who'd lost his, his yacht. He was uh, chartering it and it had disappeared. Unfortunately, it was at the bottom here. Um, but that guy helped me find it. And uh, we've become friends. He doesn't speak much English, I don't speak much Greek, but we still manage to communicate. Uh, I've just given him a card to my YouTube channel, he's going to have a look at that. And uh, they'll say, if you're watching, somebody will translate this. It was nice to see you again, my friend. Uh, we must have a coffee or a beer one day. Anyway, so for your reference, there's uh, Sammy over there. And that's where the boats uh, from the mainland come in, Ithaca's over that way. Uh, for Scardo's around the corner there. I would imagine if you've uh, got transport, it's quite a nice base. Uh, I've never stayed here, uh, but I do come over here. People think I'm nuts because I come over here for a morning coffee. <laughs> it's about an hour's, probably about an hour's ride from. Uh, from Argostoli, well from where I'm living now anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna go and have a look for some food now. 
So this is where I like to go for my coffee. We'll see if the girls are in. Bye. <laughs> see you later. <clears throat> so there you go, that's where I go for my coffee. I highly recommend that place there. Maria and a friend. Uh, as I showed you earlier, <coughs> we're now heading towards uh, Mitsus. This is the road out of uh, Aia Eafamia. And as you can see, it's a lovely bit of road. I really do like uh, this particular circuit that I do on the bike. Uh, I come over here a lot. In fact, <laughs> probably quite a lot of my videos have done this side of the island because of this bit of road. Um, I do enjoy this particular trip. Okay, so I've uh, stopped on the way out of uh, AEF from here just to show you something. Um, this was the bit of road that was washed away during the Medicaine. Um, we had to drive, that was all level with the road, with debris. Um, and we had to drive around that because this bit of road was completely missing. And if you look, they filled it in there. If you look down there to the side of this gully here, there's the armco that used to be where I'm stood. Um, all these boulders and rocks, um, fridges, people's belongings, animals, had all washed down from the mountain, uh, all the way down here, and all the way around into Eafamia, uh, and flooded the town out. Um, complete scene of devastation when I arrived, and that's how I met my friend, um, uh, at the harbour side because I was looking for a boat that had disappeared and it had sunk <coughs> during the storm. But yeah, they put the road back together now. Uh, I still think they got some signage to do, but uh, that might take a while. <laughs> but yeah, you see all these boulders and bits and pieces, that was all washed down. Um, but I see they've dug, the, the, uh, dug that out now and put a a drainage gully in <clears throat> down there I'm not sure that would carry the weight of what actually happened it was uh, it was pretty uh, severe and not something God want to go through again uh, I was on the island when the medicaine struck and uh, it's pretty scary uh, yeah anyway let's get back in the old car and uh, head off home Right, we're just coming up to the crossroads at uh, Mitsus. Um, we're going to go straight onto Agastoli. If you turn left here, the guy who sells the uh, bells for the goats and stuff um, is just on the right, probably a quarter of a mile up that road in that village. And then if you keep going, that will eventually take you back out to Agastoli through the middle of the mountain. But. Uh, <coughs> I want to see uh, the views of the sea, so I'm going around the outside of the mountain by going along this road here. And uh, you can't go wrong with that view. I know a couple of people who are going to be uh, heading out to that place um, very shortly. As you can see, plenty of places to pull over and admire the view if you want to, and take pictures. I've heard a lot of people don't like this mountain road, I don't know why. Um, it's a good bit of road. Plenty, plenty of viewing platforms, look at the push bike there, look. Oh dear. Not for me. <laughs> It's actually safer than it looks. Um, get lorries and buses and coaches and all sorts of stuff going across it. But look at the view. It's just temporary until they fix that uh, that bit of bridge that got damaged in a 
an earthquake. They're temporary. Avril. <laughs> Let's have a look at the old bridge. Yeah, apparently that was built by the Germans. During the war. During the war. And it's still there. It survived earthquakes and all sorts. So there you go. Another bit of useless information by the Rudge. <laughs> anyway, now I've done that, I'm going to get back in the car. There you go, another one going across. I'm going to get back in the car and go to the uh, chemist to get some uh, tablets for my hay fever. You probably noticed I'm <coughs> coughing a lot. Yeah, suffering with the hay fever at the minute. <laughs> Yeah, it's becoming famous in its own right, that bridge. So there you go, that was uh, Aia Iefamia and uh, the lovely Maria and her friend at the uh, coffee shop. <laughs> One of my favourite haunts. So, uh, I'm now at the uh, unfinished marina in Augustoli. Augustoli is just over that way there. Um, and over that way is Luxury. It's still a bit overcast, um, but there's nothing I can do about the weather, is there? Next week, uh, we'll have the bucket will be out here, so she'll be probably slinging the camera around for me. Um, I'm not quite sure where we're going to visit. I think next week I'll probably be going over Luxury Way and uh, visiting some beaches that aren't probably on the tourist route really um, quite a lot of people never go over that way um, I don't know why so maybe we'll explore that next week anyway thanks ever so much for watching thanks for your support if you visited the coffee page and the PayPal in particular this week thank you ever so much for that I'll catch you all next Friday thanks for watching well our little friends have been busy I don't know whether I mentioned this in the video earlier but uh... They've started rebuilding the nest. You see the dark area? That's the bit they've been doing. They're getting most of it on the floor, mind, and I have to keep sweeping it up. But, uh, oh well. <laughs> and they don't like having me around. Um, although they don't take much notice if I'm working on the bike. Or if I come down at night to uh, read the meter, which is just down there. Uh, so, yeah. I'll try and get some footage of that as uh, the months progress. And you can uh, follow the progress along with me. Marble steps, they said. They look lovely, they said. Take some blimmin' cleaning. They were white the other day. Now I'm going to have to do them again. I think the bleach might have to come out. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, in the, everything in the garden is starting to look nice. Might have to do a bit more trimming. I don't like it coming this side of the walkway, but looking good. Andy, mucking about. <laughs> Andy's mucking about again. What are you doing, Andy? Mucking about. Andy. Mucking about. <laughs> Andy. Mucking about. <laughs>